let go of anything that makes me feel separate from God. So, um, okay, I, I got it. This is a groaner alert on this joke, all right? It's a groaner alert, so it's okay after you can go. Uh, all right, here we go. Okay, so there was this man, Howard, who uh, came to his doctor, and he says, Doctor, I'm just having a terrible time. He, Howard looked awful. He said, I just cannot sleep. He says, I haven't had any sleep for a month. And the doctor says, well, Howard, what is wrong? And Howard says, well, there are all these dogs in the neighborhood, and everybody lets them out their dogs at night so they can just run around at night, you know, and they bark and run around, and they just make all this noise, and I can't sleep. So the doctor says, Howard, no problem. He says, he, and he op the doctor opens up his drawer, and there are all these samples. You know, they get all these pharmaceutical samples. So he says, these new sleeping pills have just come out. said, so they're fabulous. They're the strongest thing on the market. He says, I'm going to give you some. It's going to be great. So he gives Howard these sleeping pills, so Howard comes back in a few weeks. He looks worse than he did before. And the doctor says, Howard, what happened? He said, these are the best sleeping pills on the market. And Howard says, you know, he said, I'm just worn out. He said, he said, I run around. He says, all night I'm running around trying to catch those dogs. And when I catch them, I can't get them to take the pills. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, all right now. You've done that, haven't you? Yeah. You've done that. Can't prove it. <laughs> but I know, Eric, I know you have. How do I know this? Because who has done it? Me. I've done it because I have done it, right? What, and when I'm talking about that, what I mean is that all of us have done something that there was something that was bothering us and we have put all of our might and all of our energy and all of our time and all of our effort into fixing it from the outside, have we not? Now I want to show a hand. All right, thank you. All right, thank you very much. All right, <laughs> got two hands up there. Okay, so we've all done that. That's the human thing, right? And so they left everything and followed him. This is a fabulous story. What it's saying to us is that when we think that we can't do something, Think again. Think again. And put your net back down into that water. The, the metaphysical or spiritual meaning of Genesaret is the sea of abundance, is the, the prince's garden, the sea of life. So get out there into the sea of life, and when you realize that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired and it's not working for you, you yourself, and you, so you go out there by yourself, dip down into that deeper place. Listen to that Christ within. Call your disciples. Call on love. Call, Peter, Peter symbolizes faith, faith in the good, faith in God. Um, John symbolizes love. James symbolizes wisdom. Call on those from that deeper place. Take your time in prayer and meditation. Take your time in gratitude. Take your time in connection to connect with yourself, with God, and with the people in your life. And what you'll find is that your boat, your life, will be so full. You'll be aware of that Christ. You'll be delighted that that Christ is teaching you. You will be delighted to understand that you have a relationship with that Christ. And you'll be delighted to experience the abundance that comes in your life when you first take the mind action and then take the action in the outer as you are guided, as you are led. Then you too, and we do this over and over and over and over and over again at different depths, then you too will leave everything and follow your spiritual life. And you will be amazed at the good that happens for you in your world. Again, it doesn't mean you abandon people in your life or that you abandon your life. It means that you come to it from a whole different level and that you are transformed, you're living with compassion, and you're living from radical oneness. So if there's anything you think you can't do, think again. <laughs>